All right, everybody, on this week's episode, I'm doing something totally new that I've never tried before, and what that is is the spatchcock frog chicken. So let's get right to it. So you may or may not have seen this going around the internet. What it is, is a frog chicken. And all that is, is just a different style and method of spatchcocking a chicken. So I started doing some research and I found a few YouTube videos and a couple websites that talked about it, but mostly where I've seen this is pictures on Instagram. Well, let's get this opened up so we can get it butchered, seasoned, and out on the smoker. And today I'm gonna be using my pit barrel cooker because it is awesome for cooking chicken. So let's get to it. The normal spatchcock, you can either go right down the chest bone, or if you flip it over, you can cut out the spine. Now when I do a spatchcock, a lot of times I prefer to go right down the chest bone. The reason for that is because there's some really nice meat along this backbone here, especially over here known as the oyster. It is some delicious meat, so I love keeping it on there. Now with this style of method, we're gonna keep everything, and I don't think we're gonna have to cut too many bones, but we'll see, because there might be a few rib bones down in here. So get yourself a nice fillet knife and just cut right under this breast bone here, right up over the drumstick. It looks like there's a few bones in here. Not too many though. Probably go ahead with some kitchen shears too if you wanted to. So now you can see it open up. I'm gonna cut it right to the armpit here, the wing. I think that should be pretty good. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Right on top of that drumstick, through a couple of those rib bones. Now those rib bones are pretty thin, so it's pretty easy to cut through. So I'm kind of liking this method, just cause you don't have to cut through the chest bone or cut through the spine. So I think that's pretty good like that. Now the next thing, just flip this over like that. And as you can see, it's not very pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push it down. Really squish it. Now the other thing I like to do is cut off any of this extra skin up here near the breasts. Whenever you're smoking chicken, the skin usually doesn't get nice and crispy anyway, so I prefer to take off a decent amount of it. Now the other thing I wanna do probably is just cut off these wing tips. It's just gonna get burnt anyway. We'll go ahead and get this other one cut off. So now you can see why they call it the frog chicken. This really resembles a frog. You got the head here, your legs back here. I really like to just pat the skin as dry as I can, just to get it nice and crispy. It's really tough, like I said, to get this skin crispy with the low temperatures you get on a smoker, but we're gonna try our best. So now we just need to get this seasoned. Now a method I like to use on chicken is I like to pick the skin up and put butter and seasoning underneath. And that's because, like I said, the skin a lot of times isn't edible, so you end up taking it off. And then that's where all your seasoning is anyway, so I like to get some seasoning under the skin so you have flavor all over. Now today I wanna to try something new. What I have here is a little Japanese mayo. I really love this stuff. It's got a nice citrusy tang to it, which goes perfect with poultry. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put this into a container. You're gonna want a good amount of this Japanese mayo in here. Probably good right there. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little barbecue seasoning. That should be perfect. Now just give that a mix. Get the mayo and seasoning all mixed together. Make sure you have enough seasoning in there. Looks like we're pretty good. Smells awesome. I'm telling you guys, try the mayo with the chicken. Absolutely awesome. Japanese mayo has a time and place just because it's got that citrusy flavor to it. So now I'm gonna get that mayo, just scoop up some with my hand like that. Then all you wanna do is kind of stick your fingers in there and peel that skin back. Do this on both breasts. Get right under that skin with the mayo and just try and rub it all over. It's gonna add great flavor. We have all that barbecue seasoning in there as well. Get under both breasts. Just rub the excess on the skin there. Now I wanna do the same thing with the thighs. It's gonna be a little harder to get under the skin here. You just gotta work it. Try and get down to that drumstick too. It's gonna be good on both sides here. Come on, there we go. Get on the drumstick. All right, let's get some of that mayo. Spread it all out in there. Never tried this before, so I'm pretty excited to see how it comes out, but I don't see how this is going to be bad. So that looks pretty good. Work it in there a little more. And then I'm just gonna take my hand and rub the rest of this with the mayo. This is probably not gonna help with the skin getting crispy, but we'll see how it works. The only thing that's helping us is that pit barrel does run a little hot, so we might have a good chance of getting this skin crispy. Now the last thing I wanna do is just add a little more barbecue seasoning to the top of this chicken. You could use whatever seasoning you want, so it'd be fine with just salt, pepper, garlic. Now this is one of my homemade barbecue seasonings. If you wanna see how I make this, be sure to check out my seasoning video. I do four different seasonings in there, including this barbecue seasoning. 
So I'll put a link to it up top if you want to check it out. Put a good amount on here. Like I said, most likely the skin is not going to get rendered enough to eat, but we will see just in case. And there we go. So this is ready for the pit barrel. Let's get out there, get that thing lit up, and we'll get this chicken on. All right, so I got the pit barrel going. Now I want to monitor the temperature on this and I got this sweet new thermometer. This is by The Meat Stick. This is their Mini X. This thing is absolutely awesome. The reason I like this is because of how small it is. Now I find with the other wireless thermometers, they are a little big. So this Mini X is perfect for a nice chicken like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, just get this inserted right into the breast. Cause I want to monitor this thing carefully so we don't overcook it. And look at that, this is a perfect size for a chicken like this. That's why I love this Mini X. Now, if you're interested in this, I'll put a link down below for the meat stick and you can check these out. I'm using this thing all the time. You can use it on a small piece of steak, all sorts of great stuff. But this chicken's all set. Let's get it out, get it on the pit barrel. All right, so I got a little bit of hickory wood chunks in here today. Always add some nice flavor. All right, now let's get this beautiful frog chicken laid down on the grate. Get stretched out a little bit. Check that out. This is gonna be good. All right, let's get it covered. Let this thing cook. All right, so a pretty straightforward cook here on the pit barrel cooker. That's why I love using it. It's just a set it and forget it kind of cooker. Now, since I have that wireless thermometer in there too, it's gonna to be super easy to monitor this cook. I'm just gonna let this chicken go until we get to about 160 degrees in the chicken breast. At that point, I'll pull it off, let it rest. Now, usually with a spatchcock chicken, I'm looking at around two to three hours. I'll see if this style of spatchcock is any different. But once this thing hits the temperature I'm looking for, I'll see you guys out there to give it a check. All right, guys, this chicken's been on for two hours 45 minutes, just hit 160 degrees. Let's take a look. So you can see how nice this thing looks. Skin's cooked pretty well on here. Pretty happy with this. Now all I wanna do is just check the thigh temperature. So we're at about 190 on the thigh here, but it feels nice and tender. You can see it's nice and juicy. And the breast, you can see we're at 160 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this thing pulled off, and we're gonna let it rest, and we'll give it a try. All right, this chicken is done. I'm super happy with how this came out. Not only is it a practical way to spatchcock a chicken, but it looks freaking cool. It's a really fun way to do a spatchcock chicken. And let me give you guys a little close up of this thing. Just check this thing out, huh? Looks freaking great. The skin came out really nice, super happy with that. Super juicy chicken. Is that not cool or what? But. Let me give this a try. All right, so once this is done, you can easily carve each breast off of the breast plate, then cut your leg quarters right off there. But don't forget about those oyster mussels. Absolutely delicious, they are right here. But I'm gonna cut a little piece of this breast off because I'm very interested to see how that mayonnaise came out that we put underneath the skin here. I'm also gonna cut a little piece of skin. We're gonna see how edible that skin is, so here we go. Mmm, so good. Wow, super juicy. But I don't think the skin on the breast, at least, came out cooked enough. Maybe down here on the thighs will be good. But man, that is a juicy chicken breast, and I love the flavor of that Japanese mayo that I put underneath that skin. Like I said, it's got that awesome citrusy flavor to it that makes it taste so good with poultry. Definitely give that a try, guys. But this was a really fun cook. I'm super happy with how this thing came out. If you're looking for a nice fun cook, something that makes chicken a little more exciting, this would be great. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put a link of everything I like to use down below. And like I said earlier in the video, if you're interested in one of those meat sticks, I'll also have a link down there as well. But thanks again. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe right over here. If you wanna see another one of my barbecue videos, you can check this one out over here. But most importantly, guys, get out there and smoke something good. Mmm.